So the athletes take to their blocks for the first race in the women's heptathlon 100 meter hurdles. From Leinvon, Yvonne Visser of the Netherlands, Sarah Ayats of Belgium, Jennifer Ursa of Germany, Diana Pickler, USA, Ega Grabus, Latvia, Jessica Ennis, Great Britain, Camilla Chudzik of Poland, Anna Melnichenko of Ukraine. The favorite, Jessica Ennis, goes in lane six. One of the finest hurdlers in Britain with a 12.81. And they're away, first time. Ennis very quickly into her running and already leading this field. Melnichenko of Ukraine nearest to us, but Ennis coming away from the field. Ayats of Belgium, possibly in second. Ennis wins this very clearly. Ayats is second, Issa is third, and 12.93. Pretty useful start for Ennis. Slight headwind there of 0.4 meters per second. And Ennis, my favorite of the heptathlon, off to a good start. That was so impressive by the young British woman. She had to suffer the agony of watching Beijing last year from her front room. She forced herself to watch it and came back stronger this year. There's the result of the first race in the heptathlon. Jessica Ennis, an excellent start for the British athlete. 12.93 from Ertz and a season's best by Chudzik in third place. The second heat of the women's Heptathlon hurdles with this lady, Dobronska, the Olympic champion, going in lane three. Swartkop, Wade, Singer Roy, Day, Stotaki making up this race. This time they're away. And it's a good start there from Wade of the United States. And on their outside, Dobronska also running well. Dobronska now coming away from the rest of the field, but they're coming back at her now. Swartkop and Wade. It's going to be close on the line. It looks as if Wade's going to get it. Wade just gets it, I think, from Swartkov. And Dobrotska in third place. Winning time, 13.77. Not as fast as Ines in the first heat, but I think maybe good enough for Dobrotska to be pleased with her performance. There's the photo. Shows how close it is. Wade, 13.79. Schwarzkopf, 13.80. Dobrinska, 13.85. Day, 13.90. Pretty close. There's confirmation of the result of the second heptathlon race. Betty Wade, personal best, 13.79. The German Schwarzkopf, 13.80. And Dobrinska, the Olympic champion, started with 13.85. Well, there's the standings in the heptathlon after the first event, the hurdles. Jessica Ennis with a big lead, 1,135 points. That win in Heat 4 has made Nana Jimu of France in second place, 105.9. Ayats of Belgium, 105.8, Pickler, 105.50. And amongst the other favourites, Chernova, 103.9 in sixth place. The Olympic champion, Dobrinska, doesn't feature on that first page, of course, but then the hurdles is not one of her better events. She has 1,000 points overall. But a very nice lead for my favourite, Ennis. And there you can see, well, still not quite looking at Dobrinska. She also is a little bit below that. And you can see, therefore, she's not in the top 16 after that first event, but certainly she can expect to pick up more in events like the shot put to come. Maybe the high jump, which will be the next event for these heptathletes. But there are the full standings going through after that uh, first series of events, well, the first series of races, the first event, the women's 100 meter hurdles. Yosipenko of Ukraine, second attempt, 186 in the high jump. Oh yes, that's three over 186. And Sharon Day is the other top high jumper here, and I mentioned before that she, like Ennis, has cleared 195 at her best. Used to concentrate on the high jump, now on the heptathlon. Third attempt. Oh, yes! So the American goes over 189 and moves up very substantially in the heptathlon overall. That, uh, that will take her up into second place after two events. The heptathlon. Jessica Ennis now. The bar is at 192. She failed on her first attempt. And here she's looking at uh, going over a season's best. Lovely clearance with a fair bit to spare, I would say, there too. So Ennis stretching her lead in the heptathlon. So after two events in the heptathlon, Jessica Ennis has built up a big lead. 2267 points over Sharon Day and Lyudmila Yosipenko, the Olympic champion Natalia Dobrinska, with better events to come. Still a threat, lying in sixth place. Two pulls in the shot. Uh, we switch the other one, and here's a chance to see the Olympic champion again. 
Oh, another fine put. Now, is that better than the 1581? Looks very similar. She's certainly going to uh, narrow the gap on the leaders. And indeed, uh, she's now close to within 67 points of Ennis. So that's a big change in fortune, having seen the first two events of the day, which were Ennis's best. Dubrinska now coming into our own. And here's Melnichenko of the uh, second group. 13.23 so far. Oh, big yell, and yes, indeed, well over 13 metres. So that is, in fact, the uh, best putt from the second group of the competitors. The Ukrainian Melnichenko. Oh, we're still looking at the lesser putters. This is Sharon Day. Fairly modest so far, 12.67 and 12.81. Oh, that's better, though. Over 13 metres for day. So she'll pick up a few places, probably, with that put. She'll lose uh, a fair bit of ground, though, having said that. Um, after her standing in the high jump, may just drop back a place or two from her second after those two events, but certainly very much helped by this uh, decent shot put. In fact, I think it's a personal best. Personal best shown as 12.92, so she'll be very pleased with this one. 13 meters 42. Crucial moment for Jessica Ennis. Two fairly modest puts by her standard, 13.07. Personal best just below 14 meters. But oh, she is a terrific competitor. I've been saying she's someone who produces her best when it matters. That's a personal best in the shot from an athlete who's already leading the competition. And no wonder she's the favourite for this event. Well, she is in my book anyway, ahead of the Olympic champion. And this is the sort of performance, producing your best when it matters. We'll look out to see the distance, but I think that's beyond 14 metres. That's a new personal best for Jessica. She's only 5 foot 4 inches, but uh, she's a real talent. 14-14. And she can hardly believe it. 3,070 points after three events. Jessica Ennis, who now leads after three of the four events. 3,070 after that personal best. Dubrinska's narrowed the gap. She's moved up into second place, but it's still a long way behind. 158 points. Issa of Germany, a good shot putter, into third. And Day has moved down into fourth place. Jessica Ennis of Great Britain, one of the smaller athletes in the field. But a brilliant sprinter. Leading the heptathlon, she goes in lane seven. Personal best of 23-1-5. It's Cheneva, Melnichenko, Samuelson, Tominska, Yosipenko, Vissa, Ennis and Thiessen. The 200 metres, the last event of the first day of the heptathlon. And away they go, Ennis off very fast in lane seven, already gone past Thiessen, Ennis is flying. Melnichenko of Ukraine in inside lane, but it's all about Jessica Ennis and what time she can do and how much she can stretch the lead on her rivals. Ennis leads, Josipenko of Ukraine going well, so too Timinska of Poland, but Ennis is coming through to win this race. She'll stretch her lead to a huge one and 23-25, a season's best and only a tenth of a second outside her personal best. She has had a great day one of the heptathlon, starting with a clear hurdles win, then a 192 high jump, then a personal best in the shot, and very close to that in the 200 metres. She can rise to the big occasion, and what a comeback from an athlete who had to miss nearly all of last season through injury, bitterly disappointed to miss an Olympic opportunity, but here, in with a real chance of gold in the heptathlon. After day one of the women's heptathlon, Jessica Ennis with a huge lead, 4,124 points. Then Dobrinska, the Olympic champion, and Issa of Germany, but very close, as you can see, 3,817 to 3,714, second through to eighth. And indeed, the rest of the athletes pretty close up. Jessica Ennis will be starting day two, as I say, well in the lead with the women's long jump, the first event that uh, we will see today. She's got them all going. The clapping down for Jennifer Issa. Best long jump we've seen so far in this competition. 6.43 by Melnichenko. Long stride, speeds into the board. Good start. White flag, no problems on the board. 
She's pretty interested in what that might be. Certainly this maintains her medal challenge. Just waiting for the distance. Coach is ready. And, well, she might be pleased. 6 metres 42. An excellent start. That's worth 981 points on the tables. Spot on on the board. And uh, that's the second best long jump we've seen so far. Takes her up to 4.795. And that means that she's moved ahead of Dobrinska into second place overall in the heptathlon. Now, Ennis, decent start with 6.19. Disappointing second jump. Can she rise to the occasion just like she did in the shot in the final effort? Jessica Ennis, the heptathlon leader, goes down the long jump board. Great speed, decent jump. Not as far as her best, not quite as far as she'd like, but I think she's improved and she can be pretty happy. She's going to go into just two events to go with a big lead, but 17 centimetres to spare. That was the problem and that's held her back from an even better jump that would have uh, challenged her personal best. So heptathlon standings after five events. Jenica Ennis leading by a huge margin, 5.064. Then look how close it is. Issa and Dobrinska on 4.795. Chudzik, 4.793. Melnichenko, 4.781. We've got a real battle on our hands when we come to the javelin and the 800 metres. So here we are, ready to start with the women's heptathlon javelin. Anyway, here we get underway, and this is one of the very best javelin throwers, Camilla Chudzik of Poland. Lying fourth and looking to move up in the standings. And a pretty decent throw there too, probably around the 47 and a half meter line. Little below her personal best of 55.15. Jojuki was second in the European Cup last year. One of the great things about the multi-events is that different athletes come into their own in different disciplines. This is her top one, 48.72. Decent start for the Polish athlete. Jessica Ennis on her bib, it says leading. She has a massive 269 point advantage coming into this sixth round, the sixth event of the heptathlon. Jessica Ennis throws the javelin. And pretty good. That'll be good enough, in fact, I'm sure. Let's not give gold away, medals away too quickly, but a, a throw around 44 meters may lose a little ground to one or two of her competitors but it's pretty good by her lights the personal best of 46 47 and it will maintain her very very big lead in this competition 43 meters 54 that's worth 735 points takes her total after six events it may improve of course yet here to 5799 Natalia Dobrinska, her second throw. So it's a little better, but uh, still she's down in nearly all the events. Interesting point, Peter, apart from her Olympic uh, result, is she around about the performances that she produced prior to that? She is, in fact, as I said, uh, previous championships, uh, she's been eighth and ninth, so you could regard almost the Olympics as the aberration. Or, of mm. course, once you've done it all like that, I suppose there's slightly less incentive after that, but certainly she um, has reverted to a lower level, but we've just seen a terrific throw there. A terrific throw by Linda Zublin. Another personal best. She can celebrate just as she did in the shot put. When she sees the distance that comes up, I'm sure she's going to celebrate and Rob Walker's going to enjoy it very much. Well, look how much the coach enjoyed it. That was massive. 53.01. A new national record. Indeed, and from a previous personal best of 50 metres 47, she can scarce believe it. Well, Jennifer Issa in the javelin. She had a no throw on her first attempt. And if she's going to stay in contention for the heptathlon, she needs a good one now. Lisa, it's a great support of the crowd. Oh, it's inside the sector right this time. And it's good. It's over 45 metres. And that will keep her in strong medal contention for the heptathlon going into the final event of the day, the 800 metres. She's quite good at that. 2.11 runner. She's one of the better runners in the 800 metres. 
So I think she's still very much in contention for silver or bronze in the heptathlon. That throw, 46 metres 70, 796 points. And here's a summary of the heptathlon standings. At the end of six rounds, just the 800 metres to come. And it shows you that Jessica Ennis with 5.799 has a lead that may well be unassailable, provided nothing goes wrong um, with her performance in that event. But there's certainly very close contention for the minor placing, shall we say, if I can call them that, the silver and bronze medals behind her. Jessica Ennis, she said beforehand, after being interviewed in the Javelin, one more event to go. I'm nervous. Right now, I'm just thinking of how awful the pain is going to be. Well, it may be a pain, but it'll be relieved when she gets that gold medal if she can just stay upright in this race. Jessica Rennis in lane four, the British athlete. Is she on the way to glory now? Surely she must be. Just let's hope nothing goes wrong here. And she's not doing it conservatively either. She's running out there on her own. She's a brilliant 200 meter runner, 27.95, Steve. <laughs> 27.95, faster than some of the individual 800 meter women went through. And so she is running on nerves, running on excitement maybe, but she is the class 800 meter runner of this field. She's just got to keep herself relaxed over the last half of this race. The Rinska coming through into second place. She obviously wants to get amongst the medals. Nana Jimu of France is in third place, but S. Ennis opening up a big lead here. She's just got to hold on in the second lap because it's quick. She's gone through in 61-1-2 for 400 metres. That is faster than most of the women in the 800 metres earlier today. So what a performance. Let's hope she can keep it going. She's obviously going to slow down. No question about that. I hope she can hold on. The Brinska is chasing hard about 20 metres back. Oh, Ennis has gone out so very, very far. She's got to hold on. It really is almost a suicidal pace and the race is on behind for the other medals in particular but Ennis is tiring badly she's got to keep going doesn't matter if she loses she can lose in fact a lot of ground but she's got to keep going and finishing Issa though is coming up the crowd is supporting her Issa could well come through to at least the silver medal here fourth place Stabinska also running very well she should get into the bronze medal spot because Chudzik of Poland in second is a long way behind Dabrinska, the Olympic champion, has overtaken Ennis. Ennis has just got to keep going to get on to that medal, and she's still fighting on the inside. A very brave effort. She went off far too fast, but she's come back into the lead. She's finding the energy. She's finding the sprint speed. Jennifer Ennis is not only going to win the gold medal, she's going to win this race too. A fine, brilliant effort. 2-12-22. The gold medal goes to Jessica Ennis of Great Britain. We can confirm the other medals later. I think there might have been a change in the standings let's just wait to get the official times there can be time for tears there can be a time for pain as Ennis expected but what a wonderful performance throughout two days of competition for Jessica Ennis 2 12 22 she didn't run it conservatively 932 points that takes her total to 6 7 3 1 she has added 144 points to her personal best to do that in a major championships is sheer class. Melnichenko it was who got second. Dobrinska in third. Issa in fourth. Issa, 6-4-9-3. Dobrinska, 6-4-4-4. And the crowd can now know that uh, Jennifer Issa has taken the silver medal. Natalia Dobrinska has come through also to take the bronze as... Uh, just waiting actually for the point score just to be absolutely sure of that of Chudzik. Oh no, Chudzik actually has got that uh, 6 4 7 1 points just ahead of Dobrinska. So Chudzik just did hold on even though she was last in that race. But Jennifer is, uh, to the delight of the Germans, has taken their second medal of these championships with almost certainly another one to come in that shot competition as well, of course. Great run, really, from the women there. Staggering performance, really, from Ennis. When you consider that, uh, as I said, and quite rightly, so she went through faster in the 400 meter split than most of the women did in the individual 800 meters. She hang on in, and in the end, she sprinted past Dubrinsky to take the individual event as well. Now, Dubrinsky just missing out on a medal in these championships, the Olympic champion. But a wonderful, wonderful, strong run. Great to see. A 
Hectathlete, get out there and work hard on the last event. She deserves the accolade of this whole crowd here in the Olympic Stadium. Personal best, smashed. And now the gold medal as well. The final result of the women's heptathlon, Jessica Ennis taking the gold medal. The best mark in the world this year, 6-7-3-1 points. Jennifer Issa, 6-4-9-3, a personal best for the silver. And Chudzik of Poland taking the bronze.